the image today and how comfortable you would be with your naked self, putting it all out there. Um, do you feel exposed the second you step out of the shower and uncomfortable and immediately grab your towel? Well, you are not alone. Most women say they feel exactly that way. And that's why Women's Health Magazine is now out with their second annual Naked Truth issue, trying to address these issues of body image that so many women struggle with. Uh, the magazine highlights women bearing it all who have dared to share their most vulnerable selves and some very frank discussions about body image. Watch. Three strong women are bearing it all, mentally, physically, and emotionally, in September's Women's Health Naked Truth issue. Actress Dasha Polenko, best known for her role as Daya Diaz in Orange is the New Black, has shed her prison garb for her birthday suit. Polenko, a mother of two, says you can learn to love your body without liking everything. Mia Kang is a model and professional Muay Thai fighter. For 15 years, she was trained to think that food was a reward for starvation, but no more. Today, she is a healthy size 8 with an appetite for empowerment. Shanae Alexander is a social media influencer who once weighed more than 225 pounds. But when she dropped the weight, ironically, she also lost something more important, her confidence. Today, she is finally at peace with every inch of herself. Now these three women have joined forces, sharing their naked truths on loving the skin they're in. Joining me now, actress Dasha Polenko, model, activist, and Muay Thai fighter Mia Kang, and social media influencer Shanae Alexander. Welcome to all of you. Thank you so much for being here. Mia, good to have you back. Thank you. All right, so, I mean, it had to be a little scary, because it's not like you guys are out there, you know, bearing it all for the magazines every other day. Can we talk about, so first of all, the photo shoot day, how was it? It was fun. I it was so much fun. And actually we all overlapped. So you yeah, guys overlapped the and then we, and we all well, yeah, overlapped we were, on set. All of us were there. It was the really time. empowering to see the girl before you do it. Mm -hmm. And it was, you know. What was the moment like when you took off the robe? That was robe. Super competitive. I was like, it was Because <laughs> <laughs> like, I would imagine in your mind, you're thinking, okay, this is going to feel empowering. And then you take off the robe and it's like, there's a room full of people staring at your naked body. And suddenly you're like, maybe this wasn't the greatest idea. But everyone made us feel super comfortable. Mm -hmm. And also I think being there together and being like, these are real women. Like, we're all here together. And, I mean, I never expected in my life that someone would, like, bronze, like, every part of me. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> that was a new thing. I was is like, that what that is? Is that job. bronzer? Is that, that a bronzer? Was, that's well, what like, that was, this yeah. Is a new thing today. What kind of bronzer is that? Because that's a good bronzer. <laughs> and the floor was, was white. I, to so begin I with. went after her. <laughs> And that she left like bronzer patches. Little heart kisses on the floor. There's like booty prints, every sort of print on the floor. It was good. Now, so when you first saw the, the first proofs, right? The first prints back, how did you feel? Uh, the first thing, I'm to be honest, I started criticizing myself like, oh my God, they could like fix that or fix that. And I'm mm -hmm. like, you know what? Why don't you just realize that this is a is a moment in your life that you never thought you would be part of. Yep. You know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not your, your size zero. I'm, I'm not your size 12, 20. I'm more of like in between. So for me, it was like, I need to just embrace that, that this is me. It's a beautiful thing. Like that's thing. the whole point of doing it, and is I'm, not to erase yeah. your so-called flaws. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's a miracle because we've been talking a lot on this show about how Hollywood doesn't let you act unless you're a certain size and a certain age. And I'm sure you feel that pressure. Yeah. So it really is. It's bold of you to go out there and say, look, this is this is me. All I of me. I got one of the most beautiful yeah. women you've ever yeah. seen. So yes, are you guys. honestly. But don't so you think you we're just now getting to the point in our in our society, in our history where we're allowing that? You know, I mean, I all my Growing up, you tell me it was like you're, you have to be a certain size, otherwise that's not considered attractive. Mm -hmm. We're just now getting to the point where we're accepting different body sizes. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's an amazing thing. I mean, I mean to have people feel comfortable in their own skin and say, "I see someone that looks like me," on the pages of a magazine. Like little girls are growing up with that, and I'm so I'm just I'm so thankful that Women's Health like gave us the opportunity to 
especially show health in that way. Mm-hmm. You and know, because, sexiness. Yes. And sexiness. Yes. It's we not just like... We all deserve representation. Yeah. We all be, deserve to be able to look at what's out there and relate to that. And it makes a di- I, I believe it makes a difference. I think little girls sitting at home who are not, you know, a size double zero say, you know what? Hey, maybe I should be looking at those thighs in the, in the mirror and saying, right on, sister. Rub on. Right Rub on. on. Right? And, and where's my bronzer? Where's my bronzer? Where is right. the bronzer, actually? After the break, the women are going to tell us more about their struggles with self-esteem that inspired them to do this. We'll be right back with that. 